Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romani. Welcome back to this YouTube channel on narcissism, narcissistic relationships, and healing from these relationships. So, narcissistic apologies, right? So much fun. Well, let's think about it. Let's break it down. When you get an apology from a narcissistic person, is it an apology? Or is it actually a defense? So you can drop this in the comments, your feelings about the narcissistic apologies you've received or even what they look like. Uh, there are few things more painful and invalidating to experience than an apology from a narcissistic person, right? They don't really, narcissistic people don't really apologize. They deflect, they rationalize, they blame shift. I am sorry you feel that way. An apology, true apology, contains contrition, accountability, and awareness of the harm to another person. I'm sorry for what I did, it hurt you. And I take responsibility for my action. Apologies are really about making amends in an honest way. It all seems so simple, right? That true apology is all but impossible for a narcissistic person. The thing that they often do though, is they turn the apology into a bit of a defense. So let's take a look at some examples. It might be things like, Okay, okay, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Are you happy now? Because I yell because I'm never heard or appreciated. If you could just show me that you care, then I wouldn't be so on edge. So weigh in. Is that an apology? Or is that merely them defending themselves? Personally, I think it's a defense wrapped up in a gaslighted bow. That's the struggle, right? More often than not, narcissistic apologies basically feel like they're defending themselves. It's like they're providing an evidence base for the thing that they're actually supposed to apologize for. Their mouths form the words, I'm sorry, but it ends up being an entry into a big defensive mess. This comes up a lot in situations involving narcissistic infidelity. They'll say something like, okay, I get it. You're mad at me. I'm sorry. Ugh, I've been feeling ignored for a while since the kids were born or, or since you got your new job or since your parents moved into town. Fill in the blank on whatever the reason they gave you for cheating on you. And uh, we weren't spending that much time together anymore. And then you decided to take that vacation with your sister. And all that time I had to spend alone, what did you expect? Does that feel like an apology to you? I didn't think so. Now, for a narcissistic person to genuinely apologize can feel almost impossible. To do so, to apologize, is a sort of psychological recognition that they are human and flawed and not perfect. And that cracks through their grandiosity and evokes all kinds of shame. So they may do the sort of pseudo apology to get out of trouble or to look good or just to be able to say that they apologized. But in fact, the I am sorry is a setup for the defense that's about to come. You can call it a defense or a rationalization, whatever, but ultimately it is meant to say, okay, I did a thing that you didn't like, but you got to see it was understandable. For a narcissistic person, they invoke that self-defense argument all the time. The word sorry tricks us into thinking we just heard an apology. But you didn't really. Dig deeper. Write out what they said if you need. And if you will see that nearly every narcissistic apology you have ever received was really them defending themselves and never an accountability. Now this doesn't feel good. Listen, people, we are human beings. We make mistakes in relationships all the time. That's normal. And relationships can and often do absolutely move forward from these mistakes. That happens though when the other person, or whoever the person is, even you, when you did something wrong, you take genuine accountability, you acknowledge the other person's pain, you make amends, and you don't keep doing the thing that required the apology. Relationships not only move forward from that, they can actually grow. The entire enterprise of narcissistic apologies is really all about gaslighting, deflection, and their maintenance of their grandiose and perfect vision of themselves while continuing to paint you out as the problem who's too sensitive and then their behavior as being understandable. 
So when you do finally get that apology, that so-called apology, you often don't feel whole because ultimately it wasn't an apology. And you'd be surprised, even therapists can get tricked by that. A couple therapists will say, well, look, he just said sorry. But if it had all that gaslighty schmutz underneath it, not so sure it was an apology. Don't let the word trick you. Pay attention to all the other festoonery around that I'm, I'm sorry and make sure it's not just them defending their bad behavior. Hope that's helpful and thanks again.